so hi dipesh uh, welcome ah, to hi. the video and oh. as as mentioned uh, so this video will be recorded and it will be posted on youtube and social media so okay I'll, okay I'll, fine I'll, yep okay fine all right uh, so dipesh uh, so i've got your cv in front of me uh, so why don't you start uh, telling about yourself actually i started uh, my career as a software tester in a e service company uh, and i'm there uh, i may I, i did manual testing and ap testing kind of thing and app uh, android app uh, testing i did there and after that i uh, moved to digital marketing in uh, dream cards uh, yeah, again it's a, a wedding company there uh, i i created campaigns and uh, run through campaigns and get uh, clients inside okay mm -hmm. uh, so when did you so what's so you did your engineering in uh, 2017 right so, yeah exactly so what's uh, so coming back to uh, your work experience i can see that from may 19 till january you worked in dream cards yeah Uh, and there you worked as so were you working as uh, in devops capacity in, in any of the jobs ah uh, no i haven't uh, worked in any devops kind of job but i did a little bit of deployment there uh, when i started career uh, uh, and ended up uh, spin deployed in play, play, play store console uh, uh, google play store console like that uh, i did okay little bit of uh, git up uh, git up push and pull there uh, like that mm -hmm. uh, small small stuff i did but i haven't uh, uh, used any devops tools and like that okay so you haven't used any of the devops tools so uh, so that would mean that you haven't worked on any of the ci cd and no uh, i haven't worked in any ci cd pipeline and uh, how about uh, docker kubernetes uh, i haven't uh, exp uh, used the docker and kubernetes little okay. bit i know here and there uh, docker uh, and the uh, uh, containerization uh, things going on in the off field uh, i purely focused on uh, aws uh, side okay uh, mm -hmm. and uh, what are the uh, what are the different aws modules that you have used uh, ec2 s3 bucket and uh, uh, database uh, uh, dynamic db like that uh, uh, labs are done Uh, i had done okay and uh, where did you do which is a beginner beginner kind of uh, learning session for aws uh, restart program okay. i did all right so you did some training in aws yeah yeah you don't have much i have much project experience yeah yeah 12 year 12 weeks training yeah i have done all right mm -hmm. uh, i think uh, uh, your profile is very much like a beginner profile yeah so, yeah exactly this, there is no point asking you uh, difficult questions because i don't think you will be able to answer on any of these all right so let's make it a uh, let's make it a conversation then uh, so instead of uh, taking a hardcore technical interview from you uh, okay. so let's uh, make this uh, more as a career progression discussion yeah exactly i i'm also looking for that only i don't know if i'm taking car path or not little bit of uh, stations are there but still uh, i want to enter into good uh, technical field that's why i'm looking for yep. i already chatted on yeah, on your live you uh, you and give su some suggestion you said uh, learn a little bit more selenium automated testing kind of thing and uh, more, more learn more about uh, ca cd pipeline mm, then you can get into devops but it's uh, basically my profile is uh, looking like a pressure kind of thing you said yep. already you suggested some ideas Yeah. Uh, I think yep so looking at your profile it looks like uh, you have demonstrated uh, around 4 or 5 years of experience in it yeah uh, yeah you have you have basically uh, listed all the different tool stacks uh, in term, in your profile but yeah. uh, as you as you yourself said that you don't really have much of an experience in it uh, i think this is a very similar kind of scenario uh, which many of the freshers face Uh, yeah so also people who do not get a chance to work on devops and cloud and probably they are trying to get their uh, career aligned with it i uh, see it's it's all all it needs is a uh, hard work and okay. yeah so there there there, there will be lots of hard work but uh, eventually it will start giving you results 
yeah what i think you should do is uh, and you can get this knowledge from anywhere uh, yeah uh, so what you should be doing is you should be looking at all these different tech stacks so you said that you have worked a little bit on git right uh, yeah yeah how comfortable are you with linux uh, linux a uh, little bit i uh, you know uh, comments like that uh, 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 while pull, pushing pulling code uh, we can uh, change directly like that little 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 bit comments uh, basic comments okay are you are uh, you part of our, are you part of our coming bootcamp i am not uh, a part of in boot, bootcamp okay all right so uh, yeah i'll not be selling you bootcamp because that's okay. not what i want to do uh, but yeah. uh, uh, I think uh, what we are doing, uh, you can do uh, it yourself as to what we are doing in bootcamp. Uh, so we will be, so we are looking at uh, uh, Git, Jenkins, Artifactory uh, in terms of CI/CD, and also okay. Doctor Kubernetes. Uh, plus, we'll also be covering uh, monitoring mon monitoring tools. Uh, okay. And then we'll be looking at some of the CVs and what's the best way to to work on the CVs and all all that. So okay. So I'm not asking you to just go and join bootcamp. It's one of the ways in which you can actually start learning. But if you okay. want to do it yourself, uh, what okay. you should be doing is uh, getting into these technologies at a hands-on way. Uh, you should be working on some sort of projects in it. Okay. So that's that's the only way. So if you if you start doing hands-on stuff, okay. then you can actually uh, start getting experience, and then we'll be able to answer the interview calls because. Uh, at the moment, if I if I ask you what is uh, what is etcd in Docker and what's uh, what's API gateways used for, you won't be able to probably answer answer them in a convincing manner. I'm not sure as to how much in depth. Okay. So, so you need to start working on your core skills first. Okay. Uh, and uh, so as I said, uh, it it would require a lot of hard work, but not, okay. nothing happens without a hard work. So. Okay. Uh, and you have already done your engineering, so you're already uh, through uh, that, that cycle. Uh, okay. Probably uh, start looking at your Git, Jenkins, Artifactory, and all these uh, different components. So okay. wh wherever you want to do and learn, so that, that's, that's on you. Can you more know about your courses? What are, what are you going to cover and uh, what well, kind of things? Uh, the bootcamp covers it all, so it's designed okay. for people who do not have much experience or, or they have just glimpsed through all these technologies, but they haven't really worked on them. So bootcamp okay, is okay. designed for people like you, uh, who, whom we actually start teaching it right from the scratch. So we'll cover Linux, we'll cover Git, the right way to use it. Uh, we'll cover okay, all okay. the roles. Uh, we'll cover Jenkins. Uh, we cover Artifactory. How do you okay. integrate between Jenkins and Artifactory? Uh, and then we'll cover all the different uh, Docker and Kubernetes stuff. How do you deploy okay. an application into Kubernetes? Uh, how do you actually uh, start monitoring these? Then we'll cover all the monitoring tools. So okay. how do you actually look at the AWS billing, AWS calculator? What are the different uh, monitoring? Uh, Kubernetes okay. monitoring, the different tech stacks. Uh, what does it mean by application monitoring? What, is, what does it mean by... Uh, metrics and traces, the difference okay. between SLI, SLOs, SLAs, all these different technical terms we'll be covering up in bootcamp. So people who are joining a bootcamp, I'm very, very confident that they will be having a lot of lots and lots of knowledge uh, after they're through the bootcamp. Okay. okay. Uh, and after... uh, Sorry, you go ahead. No, no, no. Actually, go on. Go on. I think, I think there's, a, there's a big plan for all the candidates. So it's a step-by-step -step plan. Uh, so once okay. you're through the bootcamp, uh, then uh, then and only then probably you will be qualified to actually work on projects because uh, we also have project programs where we put in candidates through a rigorous projects. But unless okay. and until you have these fundamental knowledge, uh, you won't be able to do it. You can also okay. do projects directly, but uh, I've found that many many of the candidates struggle because they don't understand the basics of uh, cloud and DevOps. Okay. So, so you can have this learning from anywhere, uh, but, but you'll have to do start up on that because without that, uh, it will be very, very difficult to answer in the interviews and justify uh, the level of knowledge that is expected. Okay. Okay. Actually, uh, I, I gone through a couple of uh, uh, some entries also. Due to my gap, they are uh, looking like, uh, you know, the industry, some people are going in backdoor and uh, take kind of experience, right? They are uh, thought uh, uh, looking like that. So but yeah. uh, if if we enough technically enough we will be st uh, once i technically equipped uh, it will be cleared i think yes so the problem is not the gap 
uh, in your uh, in the number of years of experience the problem okay. is the gap in the knowledge okay, okay if you if you are a good candidate if you really know your stuff well people okay. there, there will be there is competition in the companies to actually start hiring people like that okay, so okay. on one hand you see that uh, there are so many students and there's so many people looking for a job but if okay. you look from an organization point of view Okay. Uh, like working in an organization, if I'm to hire someone, I don't find the real good candidates. Okay. okay. <laughs> so on one hand, people yeah. think there is no job, but but the people who are hiring no, job, job or many jobs are posting every day. But uh, what they are looking for is uh, if, if much enough uh, the candidate will fulfill the what are requirement, they will pick yeah. pick them. I think you no. have to you have to cross that bar of the requirements. And then yeah, there, is, yeah, exactly. there, there is plenty of opportunity, and and it's all free. All you yeah, have to, yeah. all you have to do is hard work. So all these different tools, yeah. you they're yeah. all free to use. So even AWS free tier is there. Uh, you got yeah, exactly. all these are free tools to use. It's mm -hmm. just that somebody has to put an effort to start learning and then mm -hmm. put it as a all uh, in the knowledge bank. That's so that's the that's that, and there is no there is no shortcut to it. You, yeah, exactly. You'll have to do it. Harder, harder. Yeah. So, any any other question that you want to ask? Because uh, this is just a short and sweet discussion. It's it's not really an interview, but I think this is going to benefit a lot of people because uh, this is uh, this is what uh, where many of the people are at the moment. Uh, so it's yeah, exactly the knowledge gap that we are trying to bridge in. Okay. But thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, uh, share, sharing and yeah. opinion. Uh, no, no, uh, problems, no problems, Debesh. So it was nice okay. talking to you. Uh, okay, okay. Any more okay. questions? Any more questions? Just uh, you have my WhatsApp number. Just send me a WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your re reply and uh, th thank you so much for taking me to. Sure. No problem. Right. Uh, thank Happy you. Time. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, okay. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. All right. Have a nice day too. Okay. Bye. Bye.